Guys, this is going to be a very quick video. I'm going to show you how to give someone else access to your Google business profile. If you have someone that needs to make changes to your Google business profile, or if you need someone to optimize your Google business profile, you are going to have to give them access so that they can do their thing. And it's very simple. Go to your Google business um, profile. You can do this by just searching for your business name and you'll notice it coming up on the page. Make sure that you're signed in to your Google account or your Gmail account that is tied to the Google business profile. So this account, once signed in, will show you a bunch of uh, buttons like this that allow you to make changes to your Google business profile, respond to reviews, you know, do stuff like that. So once you see these buttons, it means that you're signed in. Um, if you click on these three little dots here, you'll see there's a button for business profile settings and just click on that. And in here, you can see you can give access to other people to access the Google business profile. So just click on that button. And what you want to do is just click on the add button. And then very easy, you just add the email address of the person that you want to give access to the profile. Now, I already have access to this profile, but if I wanted to invite someone, I would just put their email address in here and then specify whether you want them to be an owner or a manager of the profile. Uh, I've been given access as an owner to this profile just so that I have no restrictions on what I can do with it, but it's up to you what level of access you want to give the person that you're inviting to manage your profile and you can see here it explains what access they will get so it's as easy as that you just click invite this will send an email to the person they have to have a gmail or a google based email uh, in order to be able to log in and, and manage or have access to your google business profile that's something very important so although my email doesn't end in at gmail.com, it is actually powered by Google. So this is a uh, Google workspace that I use for email. So, you know, you can invite anyone that has a Google-based email and yeah, that's it. 